Hey everyone, this is Eckhart Slaughter. Hello and welcome to another video. As a brief aside, I recently just started, wouldn't you know it, a third YouTube channel. Right now we've got Eckhart Slaughter for Star Wars and science fiction lore. We've got X2 for gaming, especially science fiction gaming. And now we just have Eck, which may be renamed later, which will sort of be my chill out commentary channel. So if you're interested in hearing more of the dumb things that I say, you can check out Eck. There'll be a link down in the description. All right, so today we'll be talking about the UNSC Infinity and the one area area where it has a bit of a deficit. What area is that, you might be wondering? Well, it's name. The UNSC, the United Nations Space Command, is known for a navy filled with ships with interesting names. I mean, let's just look at some of the main UNSC ships that are present during the campaigns. We have the Pillar of Autumn, the Amberclad, and the Ford Unto Dawn. In my opinion, all of these are S-tier ship names. But I mean, that's just really a taste of it because we get a lot more in the expanded universe. I posted on Twitter about some of my favorites and I will include the UNSC 2 for flinching, the UNSC Say My Name, the UNSC All Under Heaven, the UNSC Everest, and of course, the UNSC Spirit of Fire. Human ships throughout Halo lore really walk this fine line between being poetic, but not being cheesy. Because yeah, all of these ships in a way embody some element of humanity. When you talk about, say, the UNSC 2 for flinching, the UNSC Say My Name, your ships are embodying the sort of rugged and tough aspect of humanity, which is definitely appropriate for warships. You also have many named off historic events, like the Thermopylae or the Agincourt, or even something like the Lance Held High. Then again, we had, as I said, the more sort of poetically named ships. My favorite of those is probably the Spirit of Fire. It's just a phenomenal name for an exploration slash colony vessel. But the other ships I mentioned in Amberclad, Pillar of Autumn, and Forward Unto Dawn all sort of have a hopefulness and a proudness to them that I love. That brings us to the UNSC Infinity. A lot of the aforementioned discussion actually happened on Twitter. I was talking to you guys about your favorite UNSC ship names, and Chris Reagan pointed out that the Infinity is really a terribly generically named ship standing among greats. And yeah, he's 100% right. Infinity doesn't really mean anything. It's a concept, but it doesn't relate to the ship itself. And that kind of got me thinking, what's a better name for the UNSC Infinity? And I think to name a ship, especially if we want the name to be meaningful, we have to understand what that ship does, what its history is, and maybe even what its purpose is. So the UNSC Infinity. A lot of us know, of course, that it is arguably the most powerful warship ever created by humanity or the Covenant. The Infinity was created with advanced reverse engineered Forerunner and Covenant technology and is a dominant force in the galaxy, not only capable of carrying pretty much any space battle, but also wielding an entire army of Spartan Fours. The Infinity is not only a new warship, but it represents a new era for humanity, one where humans are no longer on the back foot, one where they can finally stand tall amongst the Covenant and other factions within the galaxy. However, that wasn't always the Infinity. Infinity's purpose, and the ship actually had a much, I guess, grimmer start. Let me read from Halo Warfleet. The vast quantity of resources needed for its construction pushed Earth to its limit during the Covenant War, draining resources and personnel that would otherwise have been used in defense of the colonies. However, Infinity served a larger mission that justified its sacrifice, a potential lifeboat for the human species if the alien empire could not be stopped. So Infinity could have been, or at least was envisioned as possibly, the last bastion of humanity in the entire universe. The last remnant of our proud history after being forced to run and abandon our home, Earth. So I think if you take either that point of view or the idea that the Infinity is now allowing humanity to be the dominant force within the galaxy, we can get two sort of cool streams for naming. All right, so I want to talk about some of my ideas, and these first names are ones that would suit the Infinity in its role as a last lifeboat for humanity, but also as a symbol of their pre-war power. First of all, we have the UNSC Pale Blue Dot. That, of course, comes from Carl Sagan's famous monologue, where he laments the size of Earth and our system in the scale of the universe. I think that would be very appropriate for an emerging, more powerful human faction. We also have the UNSC One Small 
small step. This one might be my favorite because it recognizes humanity's origins as a spacefaring species while also sort of playing double feature to the fact that this ship is a small step towards something much greater. One of my other thoughts was that given the fact that the Infinity was finished after the war, it could be cool for the ship to pay respects for some of humanity's losses to the Covenant. So my third suggestion was the UNSC Enduring Reach. Again, sort of a double meaning. Reach, of course, was humanity's greatest colony. The memory of Reach was often invoked in the late stages of the Human Covenant War, and of course, the memory of that will literally be enduring with this ship. But this new ship would also allow humanity to reach new heights as a species, so Enduring Reach, I think, fits in that point of view as well. Those are my three main ideas. I definitely like the latter two the most, although I don't think Pale Blue Dot is too bad either. You can also go in the direction where, instead of recognizing history, you focus on human supremacy. So humanity, as mentioned, is off its heels for the first time. The ship could definitely represent that. I think something like Spirit of Fire, which of course is already a Taken ship, is a perfect name for that type of idea. But with all that being said, I put the question out on Twitter and people were discussing it anyway, so I thought it'd be interesting to look at some of the suggestions that I liked that came from you guys. And Sierra had two that I really liked, including the UNSC Manifest Destiny. I like the idea. It may be a little bit too American though, Manifest Destiny is a kind of American ideal, but perhaps that could be expanded to the totality of Earth and its colonies. They also had the suggestion, which I really like, UNSC Trial by Fire or UNSC Trial by Combat, both of which I think are really appropriate given what humanity just went through. Grockle had the UNSC Saving Grace, which I also really like. The No Fun and Non Fungible put the UNSC Here Be Dragons. I definitely like that idea for a dedicated exploration ship, which arguably the Infinity could have been, but I just thought it was worth pointing out and mentioning. Ling had the UNSC Third from Seoul, which I like as a normal battleship. It's probably a bit too Earth centric for something representing all of humanity, like the Infinity, but still very, very cool. Another from the game jockey that I quite liked, representing the last ditch effort to save humanity was UNSC That Good Night, after of course Don't Go Quietly into That Good Night. Alex G suggested the UNSC Air to Atlas, which I think works really well from a bunch of different perspectives. And of course, we got lots of other suggestions. I will link to the entirety of the Twitter thread below, but now it's time for you guys. Let me know your idea. What should we call the UNSC Infinity, or should we just leave it as the Infinity, or as its sister ship, the Eternity? I really like the idea of having the Infinity called maybe one small step, and then the Eternity, if it came out afterwards, one giant leap but maybe that's too cheesy. I like the Enduring Reach because for one, we have something not based on Earth representing humanity, which I think would be good, especially given the fact that before the Human Covenant War, humanity was basically in a civil war because of the colonies rebelling. That's all for today though, guys. Again, let me know your favorites and your ideas down in the comments. Until next time, be safe, have a good one, and may the Force be with you.